What we've got for you today is running lines of a line out. Will be about two, two and a half meters away. You don't want to be too close or too far. So how far is good enough? Practice to run into the ball to pass. Don't use your arms. Okay, you set off. Hi, welcome back to Della Sports. If you're new here, please like, subscribe and share as usual. Any questions, leave it in the comment section below. What we've got for you today is running lines of a line out. Okay, as a scrum off, you need to make sure you master your running lines, passing the ball off a line out. Okay, also, this is a follow up on the previous videos, so please go and check them out. Okay, so follow me. What we've got here okay, is a line out in rugby, as a scrum off. Okay, a lot of times, scrum halves, they go and stand where the ball is going to be thrown in the lineup. You don't want that. Okay, I'll show you why. I've asked my son Caleb to be, to act as the lineup jumper. Okay, as you can see, I've marked out cones. Okay, I've marked out cones as a lineup. So the white cones, right? The white cones are where the players will be. Okay, where Caleb is. That's the line out. Your line of running will be about two, two and a half meters away from the line out. You don't want to be too close and you don't want to be too far. Okay, so that's tip number one. I'll say this again. You don't want to be too close or too far. So how far is good enough? Two and a half meters, I'll tell you why. Come with me. This is the front of the line out. And I'm too close. And I'm square on. I'm gonna have to turn my head. Okay, and look over my shoulder to see where the rest of the back line is or the players that I'm about to be passing to. If the ball was there in front. Or if you look at the pass itself, right? If I'm far away, I'm always gonna have to come forward first receive the ball and then turn and pass all that takes time that also takes about five meters or steps away from your outside backs you don't want that you want a quick service ball in and ball out okay so let's say the ball right the line out happens and the ball is in front of the line out you don't want the jumper to throw the ball off the top if it's a front line out. Why not? Because it's the most difficult pass. It's, it's probably about 10 meters long. Plus, the opposition's forwards, the ones at the back of the line out, will run through the line out and put pressure on your pass. Okay, you don't want that. If your forwards are not blocking them, there's a good chance that they'll intercept the ball or put you under pressure or even put the outside backs under pressure who's receiving the ball. So, the next one, I'm going to show you, follow me. That's the touch line. Five meters from the touch line is where the line out is, right? This is your line, okay, of what you should be looking for, okay? so. If this is the touch line and, and we're playing that direction, okay, and my first receiver is over there, so we're running that way. I want to be looking at him. I want to be looking at the line out and I want to be looking at my first receiver at the same time. Plus, I can see the opposition because my hips and my shoulders, my powerhouse, is facing the direction I'm going to be passing. Okay, so don't, don't be square on here. Rather face where you're going to be passing. That's another point. Here's another tip for you. Keep your hands, right, on the inside of your hip. So when you're running and you receive the ball, you have to have that understanding with the one jumping, if it's off the top, to pass the ball or lob the ball where your hands are. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So by the time you're setting off, they throw the ball first. You can track it 
By the time you get here, the ball will land into your hands here, passing leg. So it's just from there to there, one movement. And this sets you up with a good running line. So if they get over the gain line, you can run in support. If they get tackled, you on top of that ball quickly. You don't even have to form a proper ruck because you'll be the first one there to clear the ball. Okay, as previously I mentioned, this is more to do with sharing information. I'm not here to show you this is drills and this is what you need to do. Okay, excuse the noise. My young son is so excited every time we make videos. You know, he takes over. But anyway, make sure, right, that you listen and try these things out to what I'm saying. And please let me know what, how you find it. Okay, so I'm going to do this with different objects, not just with a rugby ball, to practice my senses, practice my movement. Okay. Okay, so imagine this is the front of the line out and they've, you don't want the ball off the top. You want the jumper to come down, okay? Which means as a scrum off, you're gonna have to come towards the ball. But if you know you're gonna go that way, line as they're mauling or as they're coming down, make sure that you, that you receive the ball where the rib is so that you can punch that ball out, okay? If you go for box kick, still keep your distance. And the one with the ball, if you have that understanding, always make sure you communicate for them to not, for, you don't want them to throw the ball. You want to go and collect the ball. Okay? Same thing. If you're going to pass the ball, don't let him lob the ball because this is not a quick ball. You want to go and receive the ball and from there to the rope and then punch that ball out. Okay, so any questions about that, please go for it. Ask in the comment section below and then hopefully we'll, we can break it down. The next one would be if this is the middle of the line out. Okay, this is what the whole purpose is for. You running into the ball, your pass is on the run. Okay, this is more, this is probably a few seconds quicker. So I'm gonna demonstrate and see what it looks like using different objects. So the idea is, I'm not gonna run early and then catch and pass. He's gonna throw the, the object first, then I'm gonna take off. I'm always starting in front of the lineup. Okay, so let, let's see what it looks like, okay? I always like to use small flat rugby balls as well. It's not as easy to pass a ball that's flat. So get used to different objects. What not to do? <laughs> always start in the front okay one more i'm running that way catch and pass one second okay one more thing if you running into the ball and i'm receiving the ball of we're playing that way and the ball is coming from this angle you don't want to catch the ball in front of your body you want to receive it on the side, on the inside of your body already. Look at my elbow. Because when you receive it there, the next step you, you give is also executing that pass. But if you receive it as you're traveling in front of you, you're taking a few more steps to make that pass. Plus, you're most likely to swing your arms and the first receiver might get the ball behind him. It's important. Receive it on the inside. Okay, keep that head and shoulder low as you run. Just to come back to more tips, what not to do is to receive the ball square on and then take a few steps to pass. You're gonna have to really rely on your power. This is more technique and speed 
Okay, more about speed, running into the ball. Okay, so the ball's been thrown in. Okay, you set off. Okay, and then you follow through. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell for notifications. Hopefully you can find this useful. Like I said, it's all about running lines from a line out. Keep your distance. Practice to run into the ball to pass. Don't use your arms. That sets you up for the ruck or to be a supportive runner. See you next time. Take care. Bye.